Welcome to our Nomadic Navigator Travel Backpack 32 liter review. It's sexy, it's big, it's feature heavy, but does it live up to its 400 USD price tag? You're expensive. By the end of this review, you are going to know the exact answer to that question. My name is Aaron, the... The script fell. My name's Aaron, the script fell. This is Nomad Nation and we're making it work, people. If you wanna see us improve and increase our budget, then hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna kick off this review by talking about, wow, you're big. The overall gist of the Nomadic Navigator Travel Backpack 32 liters. Like, what's your deal, bro? The deal is this, it's a 32 liter backpack that can expand to 41 liters. This makes it ideal for three to seven day trips for normal people. But if you're like a super hardcore minimalist traveler like me, you could theoretically travel the world for months at a time on a bag of this size. It's sort of a mid slash large range backpack and it's gonna be carry on compliant for most airlines that you go on, which is awesome because ain't nobody wants to pay for check-in. I think the most important thing to know about this bag is that you got two main compartments. One, you've got like a quick access compartment for like your smaller bits of gear. Things like your headphones, chargers, things of that nature. But then it's like, dude, I'm traveling. I need to bring so many clothes with me and I need them to be accessible. Nomadic's got you covered. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Some quick other specs. It costs 400 USD. It can fit up to a 17 inch laptop and it comes in weighing a pretty heavy 5.1 pounds slash one bag, they're gonna hate this bag. But to me, personally, I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. And one of the most important characteristics of this backpack is the way that it's built. Like, notice, it's standing up straight by itself. It's got like a shell, okay? Like there's literally like plastic and aluminum and frames in this backpack that help to give it a shape. Now that's gonna create weight issues, that's why it's 5.1 pounds. But on the positive side, it looks great and it serves a functional purpose as to where the stuff that is inside your bag is going to be very, very, very well protected. Okay, you, me, let's talk about the front of the Nomadic Navigator Travel Backpack 32 liters. Is that right? Yeah. First up on the front, let's talk about the materials. We have a junior ballistic nylon, which is this material right here. So it's a little bit finer, but it's also non-branded. I feel like at this price point, I would have loved to have seen it been like made by Cordura. But ballistic nylon in general is typically very smooth to the touch, but it has quite a robust and rugged and durable feel to it. On the top we have Hypalon, kind of like leathery, rubbery, but not in a sticky way. Really, really love this material. And you can see the Nomadic logo right here, nice and tasteful, not too loud, sort of recessed in this Hypalon material. It looks really nice. One identifying characteristic of all of the packs and slings in the Navigator series are these guys right here. They are reflectors. Just helps make you a little more visible at night. Think about it. You're getting out of your taxi, you're walking down the streets of Bangkok, you're in a dark alleyway. You know, it just gives you a little bit extra visibility for a little bit extra safety and security. Now let's talk about these guys external lash points. I'm surprised by how much I like them. They add an interesting aesthetic. I kind of like the way that they look, but also they do serve a functional purpose. Whether you want to put like a yoga mat, camera tripod, maybe like a big puffy jacket that's taking up too much room on the interior, the main compartment of your bag, you can go ahead, slide it in there, tighten it up, you're good to go. Or you can say, F you mother I want nothing to do with you, uh, be gone, and they'll be out of your life forever. Um, let's talk about Nomadic zippers real fast. They utilize new zippers with their Navigator campaign. They have these poles right here, plastic, and then like a wire uh, that connects it to the zipper head. They're all smooth, but they're not YKK on the outside at least, but some of the internal zippers are YKK, which is really strange to me. Some zippers like this one here have a little like tamper resistance mechanism where you can slide it through there and just make anybody tampering with your less likely. Or you have like on the larger top front compartment where the zippers can be tamper resistant because they sort of slide into each other and then they are connected. It also should be noted that excluding the expander, every exterior zipper on this bad boy is waterproof. But yeah, PU coated, so um, your stuff will stay dry. Let's go ahead and get inside this guy. Inside this pocket, we've got a little bit of internal organization. We have key solution, two elastic pockets, and a hidden pocket. The key solution is basic, just a little buckle, pop your keys on, pop them off, good to go. These elastic pockets, God, I love Nomadic's mesh game. It is on point, really silky, really elastic, and these are just good for like things that you want super quick access to. Like I got a bottle of hand sanitizer in there because I assume if I was going on an airplane, I'd want that close. And finally, we have this hidden zipper compartment right here. It could be a little 
tight, a little difficult to access. I think that's a good spot for something like a wallet, maybe some backup cash because of the hidden functionality of it. And it also should be noted that this pocket's huge. This pocket extends the entire dimensions of this right here. So you can also fit like, I don't know, you can put a tablet in there, you can put a book in there. It can fit a lot more. It's, it's It looks deceptively small. It's bigger than it looks. But talking about big, this front pocket, the second one is even bigger and is one of my favorite parts of the Nomadic Navigator series. We got two panels. Let's talk about this panel first. On the top, we have an RFID safe pocket. RFID just means that if your credit cards or passport is in this pocket, they're blocked from them being scanned or you being scammed. It should be noted, these are YKK zippers. Below, below we just have a regular pocket where I have nothing in there. And a couple of pen holders on either side. On the other panel, we have two smaller pockets and a larger pocket. Now, this is interesting because these are mesh, the same great mesh that I've been loving on all the Nomadic Navigator uh, products. So I've got like backup headphones in here. I got a power bank and it's big enough for things like, you know, your computer charger, a beefy computer charger. Silky expands really well. Mesh is great because you can actually see what's inside the pocket. But this is interesting. This looks like mesh, but it's actually not. See, can't see my hand. This is like a meshiness to it in terms of the elasticity, but it's a different material. And I like this material a lot. It's a good spot for a notebook. Also should be noted, there's a fair amount of room between this panel and this, like probably about yay much. So you can actually store more items in this compartment if need be. All right, let's talk about the middle. Lots to unpack here. Let's start with the expansion. It's one of the biggest selling points of this pack. Right now I'm in 32 liter mode, but as you can see, et voila, expand this 41 liters. So as you can see, this is like the extra nine liters right here. So when it's compressed, it's like this. When it's expanded, it's like that. And that extra nine liters goes a long way. On this panel, we have two elastic mesh pockets. This is the same mesh that I was raving about earlier. I got it filled out with a few things. I got some Dio. A really nice zip on these pockets. You know why? Because they're YKK. Nomadic, why didn't you put YKK on the freaking outside? One of my favorite features about this backpack is this right here, which is a compression strap. And it just kind of keeps everything nice and neat and tidy. Look, we got a bunch of clothes in here and they ain't going nowhere. Let's take out a few of these things. We have adorable kitten. I'm gonna keep you right there. I'm going to call you Toby. All right, we got a blanket in there, a couple of other clothes. We got jackets, we got bathing suit. You can just see for most people, a 41 liter backpack is probably good for like a seven day trip. But you know, if you really are the, living that digital nomad or long-term travel lifestyle and you pack light and you do enough laundry, I mean, 41 liters is gonna really get you wherever you need to be. And then the last note about this main compartment is that we have a zipper right here that leads to two pockets. This is good for things like your socks, maybe like toiletries. I actually didn't like this pocket when I first used it. I was like, oh, that's kind of dumb because you have two sections there and it's like a little like loopy, like a little wavy, but it doesn't compromise the experience of opening or closing it. And that actual sort of waviness makes it easier to reach the gear that's actually there. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's a nice touch. All right, that's the inside of the middle. Let's talk about the outside. Let's start at the top. We have a quick access pocket right here. Got a nice like uh, scratch free material right there. Maybe some sort of microfiber. That's why I think this is a great pocket for things like your phone or your shades. Also a PU coated zipper, but I should definitely make note of this. Look at this lining. It's a little off for me. I think that, I don't know, it's just not the finest waterproof zipperage ever seen. Is that coming in clear on the camera tab? And we've had a few of these issues with this backpack. Like you can see even there we have like on these reflectors, it's a little wavy here. I'm deaf. we got a little bit of eh, average stitching right there. I'm definitely nitpicking, but I do think for a backpack that costs 400 USD that you kind of expect a little bit more in terms of quality control and quality assurance. But uh, yeah, just a couple of things to be aware of. Let's talk about handles because we have four of them. Three are the same. Basic nylon webbing with a little bit of padding, really common stuff. There's one on the bottom and two on each side. I like the bottom one because think about it. You get on your flight, you put the bag over top and it just gives you a quick grab point, okay? Nice little touch. But I love this top handle. It is chunky. It is beefy. It is cushiony. It's just, it's a great handle. And I know this because I carried this backpack over to Tab's place. He lives like 25 minutes away from me and I was carrying it like this the whole time. And it was just like really, really nice. 
Well done with that, Nomadic. Well done. But let's talk about one of the most important features of this backpack, the Watcher Bottle Pockets. There's one on each side and they're exactly the same. And I've never seen it done like this as to where they are zippered from the top. So here we have the pocket, not being used nice, flush, neat, tidy. But then you need to use it, put your water bottle in there and it expands. So you can see like that. And I got an 18 ounce hydro flask in there right now with room to spare. In fact, we actually put a one liter Nalgene in there earlier and I'd say it's probably as tight as it can go, but it definitely fits. But here's why it's so cool. Cause it's not just like a water bottle pocket. This pocket can be used for anything. Like for instance, on the other side, what do I got in there? Oh, I'll tell you, dude. I got my phone. And that's what I like about these because the way that the zipper is on the top, it's not just a water bottle pocket. It's just a pocket that also can fit water bottles, but you can put whatever you want in there. I'm a really big fan of these pockets. I think Nomadic absolutely nailed it with these. Okay, next up, the back. First up, we've got a tech compartment. Right here, side zip access. I've really been enjoying side zip access with laptop compartments. The reason being, like, you don't need to take your bag off to grab your laptop. You just do one of these, unzip, laptop's right there. And I like the side access too because it keeps your laptop nice and compressed. Like it's, it's a little bit tighter in there, which is fine. It just needs to be served one purpose and that's to keep your laptop safe and secure. Which it does, there's a decent amount of padding on the back panel. And it just feels like it'll be safe, um, especially because there is a false bottom. So if you drop your pack, uh, the laptop is less likely to get destroyed. Like I said, this can fit up to a 17 inch laptop though. I will say for my 13 inch, it does feel a little loosey goosey in there. Like it's a big compartment. I mean, you see my 13 inches in there and it's getting swallowed. Now let's talk about the actual back panel itself. Nomadic advertises this as like a super comfortable backpack. I would agree. You got four points that kind of help with the comfort, starting with these load lifters right here. Load lifters, it's a fun combination of words. You also got a sternum strap and a waist strap and an aluminum frame. When these four things combine, their powers give you a more comfortable carrying experience. Load lifters are basic, nothing too much to say though. Okay, let's talk about these shoulder straps. They're really comfy, uh, they're wide, which is good. It helps distribute the weight. Like you don't want like tiny straps, especially on a backpack of this size because it'll cut into you a little bit. Moving down, we got a sternum strap. This sternum strap is removable and adjustable. Adjustable as that you can put it here, 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 here and removal as to where you can say, if you don't like sternum straps, get out of my life. And then let's talk about two things. One thing I love, the other thing I hate. The first thing that I love is this metal hardware right here. I'm a sucker for metal hardware. It just feels premium to use, right? You just, you just touch it and it's like, you're like, damn, that's a nice experience. And that's what these guys give you. But the second thing, a thing that I hate is the f***ing dangle. And you're just walking around and it's like, like I like to wear my backpack super tight. So I got a lot of extra dangle going on, right? And like, there's definitely enough space here on the nylon webbing as to where if there was just a little holder, I could just pop it into place. And then this would turn into this because this sucks and this is much better. Back panel itself is very comfortable. Definitely a little bit more dense, a little bit harder, but I've actually been growing to appreciate that. I used to like something super soft and cushiony, but this is actually very satisfying in its own way. You got the EVA mold, uh, the sort of foam padding right here helps with comfort, helps with breathability. It's pretty well done. Luggage pass through strap right there. Branded life on the move. Nomadic's new inspiring slogan. And one last part to talk about are the waist straps. And you're like, Aaron, what waist straps? I see no waist straps. What do you speak of? They are stowed away. Right here. Waist strap numero uno. Waist strap numero dos. The waist straps are quite interesting because you can A, use them, B, stow them away, or C, remove them altogether. Yes, guys, it is true. These are connected by Velcro. You can just go ahead and pop this thing off. So if you aren't into waist belts, you don't have to use it. Waist straps are important, especially in a backpack of this size, because it's gonna take pressure and weight off of your back and redistribute it more towards your torso. These themselves, though, they're pretty cool. We have some more reflectors right here. Basic nylon webbing, basic buckle. But one thing we do like about these is the dangle stoppage situation. Unlike the shoulder strap where Nomadic completely neglected the dangle, Nomadic gave us a really creative solution here. It's like a little clip system. You just go ahead and clip that in there and it's nice and tidy. 
The best way to do it is in this loop right here, but sometimes if you're a super skinny person like I, you might have to have a little bit more excess dangle and then you pop it in like that, it's, it's quite good. Let's talk about some overall pros and some overall cons of the Nomadic Navigator 32 liter travel pack. Overall pro number one, you're looking at it. I love that it can stand up by itself. It's kind of a rarity in a backpack of this size. Because think about it, you're at the airport, there's a lot of lines at the airport, and you're just kind of standing, and then you move three feet, and then you don't move for three minutes, and then you walk like two more feet. It's just nice to put your bag down during those times, and when the bag can stand up like this, it just makes it a better experience, I'm telling you. Pro number two, I love these water bottle holders. You got two of them, and they rock. And pro number three is I love this front compartment right here. There's enough organization without being overcomplicated. But we also have some cons. Here they are. Con number one is that, in my opinion, for the price range, Nomadic definitely skimped on some of the materials. Con number two is it's a bit heavy, 5.1 pounds. One of the heavier, large backpacks we have ever reviewed. And con number three is some quality control issues. We have like some weird waviness in the stitching here, a little bit of iffy stitching down there, some waviness on this zipper. I, it's not bad on a $100 backpack, but on a $400 backpack, eh. Now let's talk about who this pack is perfect for and who can take a pass on it. But if you can take a pass on it, I'll give you an alternative backpack recommendation, I promise. We think that this pack is definitely for you. If you're looking for a backpack that can be both a mid-sized travel pack and a large-sized travel pack. Do you do three-day trips and then a couple months later you do a three-week trip? Or are you looking for a backpack to sort of just kind of be a virtuoso and like handle like however long you're traveling for that it can handle it? This is your guy. If that sounds like you and you're going to make a purchase, we do ask that you use the first link in the description below. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support our channel. We also think that this is the pack for you if you're just totally digging the look. The truth is a lot of 40 liter backpacks are boxy or blobby or fatty. They're just, you know, they're just big old backpacks. Nomadic sexified the f out of their backpack. And if you are digging the way that it looks, get it. And if you're gonna get it, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and help support our channel. Thank you so much. We also think that you'll love this pack if you're just digging the whole like hard shelliness of it. From both an aesthetic perspective, but also a functional perspective. In a lot of ways, this is kind of like a suitcase, a very sexy suitcase that you just kind of put in your back. So it maintains its shape, it stands upright, and it also is gonna be extra protective of the gear that you have inside. If that sounds like you and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. But we got some people that we don't think this bag is gonna be perfect for. I'm gonna tell you who those types of people are right now. This is definitely not gonna be the travel pack for you if you are looking for a travel pack, but you're on a little bit more of a budget. Let's be honest, 400 USD, it's pricey. This also might not be the pack for you if you're like, dude, I love the style of this guy, but I'm a photographer. Stop, check the links below. We've got a link to a full review from a backpack by Nomadic, but it's especially designed for photographers. This also might not be the backpack for you if you're like, dude, love the expansion, but it's just a little bit too big for me. If only there was a backpack that could expand from 25 liters to like 35 liters, that would be perfect for me. There is, take a look at the description, there is a link to a full review of a smaller backpack that can expand as well. It's cool, check it out, go now. If you're still here, that means that you found this video useful. And the best way to support the channel is to hit the like button and also please subscribe. You clearly, clearly like backpacks. And also let us know in the comments below. Do you think that this backpack is overpriced? Do you think the water bottle holders are as cool as I'm making it or is it just kind of like meh? Also, do you own this backpack? I haven't spoken to anybody who owns this backpack. If you own this backpack, I need to know what you think about it. Please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you next time.